Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Weather Extreme Video, this is the Afternoon Edition. This is for Monday, June 24th. I'm James Spann. Scattered strong storms developing across parts of north and northeast Alabama this afternoon. Tomorrow should be drier, but still, maybe some strong storms for the southern half of the state. Let's check it out. A fairly deep trough for summertime north and west of the state giving us some dynamic forcing for thunderstorms today. There's the visible satellite view. We had an MCS, a mesoscale convective system, uh, dying over West Alabama this morning. The boundary from that is on the eastern side of the state. That will likely be the uh, initiation boundary for new storms this afternoon. In fact, that's the radar at 235. Big storms falling in the Birmingham metro. Heavy rain falling there. Other scattered storms between Gadsden and Leesburg, and also in parts of Marshall and Jackson County. Storms will be increasing, especially across the northeastern counties of the state in coming hours. Temperatures today, not too bad. The hot spot of all places, Huntsville, they've got 90, and Auburn at 90. Most other locations, mid to upper 80s with a mostly cloudy sky. And around the nation, I'd say it's fairly seasonal. Cooler temperatures over the northwest and parts of the Great Lakes. There's the severe weather risk for the rest of today and tonight. We have an enhanced risk from near Knoxville, Tennessee, up to about Pittsburgh. In Alabama, the chance of strong storms mainly east of I-65. Uh, where there's a marginal risk, and we have the standard slight risk, level 2 out of 5, for places like Anniston, Gadsden, Fort Payne, and Scottsboro. And again, the storms this afternoon, this evening, could produce some fairly strong straight-line winds as they move eastward. Tomorrow, got the standard risk well to the north of here, but SPC has introduced a marginal risk, level 1 out of 5, for parts of south and southwest Alabama, south of a line from near uh, Utah, to Troy and Eufaula, areas in darker green. The northern half of the state should be relatively dry tomorrow. Then for day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal risk of severe storms for parts of the western plains up toward the northern Rockies. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The west fairly dry. Rain uh, for the east, yes, we'll have scattered storms about pretty much daily. And as we often say in summer, these maps are not that easy to prepare because of the scattered, random nature of the storms, but uh, many spots getting about one inch. And the tropics in the Atlantic Basin, just as quiet as could be. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Heights a little below average much of the country. And again, the air should be a little drier tomorrow for the northern half of the state. So we'll call it partly sunny. The high should be around 90. Uh, the scattered storms mainly confined to the southern half of the state, and they could be fairly strong there. That's where the moisture should be deeper. Wednesday, uh, the GFS a little drier, but we'll certainly mention a chance of scattered storms statewide by Wednesday afternoon. High again close to 90. Thursday looking relatively dry, and again, this run looking a bit different from the one we showed you this morning, and uh, really the same thing on Friday, but on both days, we'll mention scattered afternoon and evening storms. We think the uh, uh, moisture and instability should be sufficient for that. Highs 87 to 90, and that's the theme for the weekend. This is Saturday, and this is Sunday. Uh, both days, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, scattered showers and storms, mainly not necessarily all of them, but mostly during the afternoon and evening hours. Highs for the weekend, again, 87 to 90. And a week from today, Monday, the 1st of July, got to a little upper low that's over the Rio Grande Heights where they should be. And again, typical summer weather, partly sunny, the chance of a thunderstorm in spots in the afternoon. Let's go out 10 days. How about Independence Day? This is Thursday of next week, the 4th of July. Got broad troughing and again, standard summer weather. The sun out at times, you'll have to dodge a few scattered storms during the day, especially that afternoon. Highs upper 80s to near 90. Here's the precipitation coming off the GFS Ensemble for the next 15 days. The green line, that's the mean, approaching 2 inches. Some of the outlying members go up to 4 inches. And the numbers, highs mostly upper 80s and low 90s. 
Lows mostly, upper 60s and low 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.